Welcome to a Starter and a Chaser podcast with your hosts, Joe Clark and John Passo. There is no I in team, but there is meat. Go meat! Oh, hey, welcome to another episode of a Starter and a Chaser podcast. I am professional brewer, John Passo. I'm whiskey connoisseur, Joe Clark. Now, normally we do whiskey and a beer, but we're going to be start interspersing some episodes every once in a while of other liquors. And we're going to be doing that with things that are really hard to find and really special. And today is one such episode. Yes, Joe, it is. what do we have to review today? Mount Gay Rum. Wow. Three offerings, as a matter of fact. Oh. So, so yeah. Mount Gay Distilleries is actually located in Barbados in the West Indies. They have been around since, they're known as one of the oldest commercial rum distilleries, actually the oldest wow. commercial rum distillery since 1703. That's um, older than some of the whiskey distilleries out there. Right. Barbados is uh, questionably the birthplace of rum. Uh, it was named after Sir John Gay Elaine. And since 1989, John, and everybody else out there, mm -hmm. it has had, the majority shareholder is Remy Contro. Now, they make this rum with 100% molasses and water that is filtered through actual coral. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if that adds a little bit of a we minerality to, to yeah, it. Yeah, right. that would be cool. Uh, and uh, it, they use a house exclusive yeast and a combination of copper pot stills and column stills. Nice part two is there is no sugar and no color added to this. Really? Yeah. Which is pretty cool. That's <clears throat> cool. <laughs> First up on the tasting tour is going to be the Eclipse. Now this is a blended rum. It's two years old and is aged in X american whiskey casks and a lot of um, rum connoisseurs out there consider that this is the gold standard by which all rums are judged Ooh, i'm excited yeah now number two what's our second joke so our next one is the mount gay barbados rum black barrel double cask nice little bottle there yeah Okay, so it is like a new formulation for them. It's a double cask blended rum. It is three and seven year blends, um, or I should say th between three and seven year mm -hmm. blends. American whiskey casks, and also finished six months in heavily charred ex bourbon oak casks. Now that one's 43% alcohol. The Eclipse is 40% alcohol. And the XO, which is our third taster today is 43 percent alcohol as well now this is another new formulation and what we mean by new formulation is this these products have been available before but they have changed things up just a little bit on there and one of the things that they changed up on this is the age that it is you know aged <laughs> right uh, so <laughs> it's uh, uh it's got some it's, years yeah, behind, it. Some years behind <laughs> it originally it was eight to 15 years aged but they've widened that to five to 17 years and that is giving them a little bit more of a dynamic taste to the rum itself it is aged in three separate casks and then blended together american whiskey casks x bourbon casks and cognac casks Ooh, so tasty. we have these all poured in front of us and joe is going to go through and give us the nose so the first one we got here guys is the eclipse which is this bottle right here this is supposed to be the gold standard mm -hmm. mm. i'll hold it up so that our viewers can see the color that is uh it's a, like a little Gold. That's a nice gold color, actually. What are you picking up on the nose? Oh, this there? is very barrel forward. I mean, right first sniff, guys, straight barrel. So this one is X whiskey barrels. Okay. So when you have um, just to kind of bounce around a little bit here, John, when you mm -hmm. get like stuff that's aged, like scotches, or we've had scotches aged in rum casts, we've had um, uh, bourbons aged in X rum casts, and mm -hmm. you always bring out a tropical. No, even the nose palette, and it's ever so present right here. Yeah, the tropical okay. fruits coming through, like mango mm -hmm. and guava. Yeah, you okay. get a lot of that, a lot of the sugary molasses type smells going on here too. Okay. Yeah, very mangoey, 
almost kind of even a little maybe pear in there. I don't know. It's not really tropical, but it's so barrel forward. I'm just going to leave that one at that. Okay. It's, All it's right. pretty basic. Actually. Now, the black. Ooh, double barrel. I see a rum and I want to paint it black. So once again, very similar Ooh. color to the uh, the Eclipse, just, uh, you know, f maybe two to five percent darker. Still got that golden color, but you got some edges of amber going on on this one. This one is super complex, John. Ah, still tropical or? Has a, that little a little bit. It's kind bit. of actually dropped off on this one. Uh, maybe it's due to the double barreling and the X, you know, bourbon cast and stuff like that. You're getting a lot of that charred. You, these are very barrel forward so far. Cool. But this one is buttery, some butterscotch in there. Very candy like, oaky, caramely. Mm. Picking up a lot of the kind of the bourbon. Yeah, I was going to say that sounds like a lot like some of the descriptors you use Spicy, for even though this isn't a spiced rum. Mm -hmm. um, getting a lot of spice coming through, like almost like rye spice. Okay. It is a little hotter mm. it of is. a rum. It is. So this do you one, think it's the, the, the heat coming off of it, or do you think it's like kind uh, no, of still it's, the spice? No, okay, so between the 40 and the 43, there is actually a noticeable different amount of alcohol amount of alcohol coming out of the glass okay. transferring to the nose mm -hmm. this one's a lot more okay but um there is like a spicy note to it kind of a rye spice okay. note to it now the xo by the way xo stands for extra old for anybody that was curious look at that color that is nicely deep yeah uh deep amber yeah the first two were very similar. Yes. This one is just you night noticeably, day. Noticeably darker. Oh. You just like, I don't know if you guys can understand. I'm sure you can. It's very creamy, milky. You just smell the refinement in this because mm -hmm. there's just a lot of flavors coming through, but it's very concentrated. It's actually, John, very similar to the black barrel on the nose here. Oh, okay, okay. So you're just more, more of that powerful. bourbon and yeah. yeah, okay. Hmm. A lot more of that buttery butterscotch coming through. Surprisingly, this one's a little more tropical than the other one is. Okay, interesting. But this kind of on the nose is starting to more so mimic an American whiskey. To be honest with you. Hmm. Well, two hmm. okay. of the barrel, two of the three barrels in that is American whiskey. You know, bourbon and. Uh, bourbon and American whiskey. Yeah, so yeah it's kind of got sense. that creamy smell to it like a lot of the American whiskeys do. Um, you're picking up a lot of those American whiskey notes with a lot of the caramel and vanilla on that one. So uh, I say we, uh, we drink. Let, let's let these open up for a second here. Line open, and open, uh, so. <laughs> take the lids off of these, let them kind of air out a little bit and uh, waft in the air. Right, yeah. <laughs> All right, so the Eclipse. Roast. Ooh, whoa, that's interesting. Uh huh. First, right. I get um, I get like this molassesy cane sugar up front. That's uh, that's fairly viscous and then heavy body. Yeah. But quickly, within like a second, it drops down to this nice mellow sweetness and a little orange peel. And it was like, hi, how you doing? Okay, I'm gonna go over here in the corner now. It was that was really interesting. It was like a get? real quick like rough around the edges kind of thing going on a little heat like that yeah, shot get a forward heat, front yeah. of the tongue mm -hmm. but then it kind of melted around the side of the mouth for me into like a spicy sugary fruity tropical fruity kind of mangoey thing going on and then the finish is i'm, I'm picking up barrel i want to hit a second yeah one yeah let's wash this in more of that barrel comes out oh yeah big time wow that is, and it, it's it's woody, but it's not splintery, nope. and it is like distinctively American whiskey in the barrel. I mean, that yeah. that is American oak coming off. It was hard. a it it felt it tasted familiar even for mm -hmm. the first time. Like, whoa, wait a minute here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. This is um, and on the finish, I get that tropical note. I get a little bit more of the molasses now. Yeah, and I, I keep getting this candied orange peel. Yeah, which is really very cool. candy. Yeah. 
Very cool. Um, I don't, you know, rum's huge for doing, you know, tiki mixed drinks, you know, cool, cool glassware that you can put those kinds of things in. Uh, this is great just straight. And I'm curious how it would hold up to some other ingredients in a, in a mixed drink, if it would hold sure. up or if it would get drowned out. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's move on let's to take the... a little palate cleanse. Oh, yes, you are correct, sir. Hmm. Let's move on to the black barrel. Mm -hmm. New formulation, double cast. We're going into three to seven year. Mm -hmm. Cheers. This is the one with the bourbon casks, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> mm. Feel that weight. Oh wow! It's heavier. Up front, it was very similar to the Eclipse, but then it just blossomed and got super complex. The finish on this is incredibly long. Yeah. Let's do a double. Okay. Yep. Mm. That initial bite of the heat is less than the Eclipse it as well. Is. I'm thinking the, Weird. the age. On the nose, totally opposite. Mm -hmm. One the yeah. other. This one's more easier on the palate, but more alcohol, more alcohol content. On the nose, you and the saying. other one's yeah. hotter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one is this is definitely you're starting to step up here. Once again, the orange peel is really coming. The candied orange yeah. is real heavy on this one. And the barrel is just yeah. it, it's building and building and building on the aftertaste. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for another. Okay. Really barrel forward. Cane sugar, mm. barrel. Yep. Orange, tropical, barrel, oh. barrel, barrel, <laughs> barrel. Bourbon. <coughs> yeah. Lots of bourbon notes in this. More kind of creeping over on the palate to like American whiskey kind of mm -hmm. style. But the, I like the mouthfeel of that one. Nice and heavy. Yeah. That's so nice. Great in a painkiller. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's rinse out. I gotta take you to Porco Lounge here in Cleveland, Ohio. They're a tiki bar and they have some of the best tiki drinks and I bet you they use Mount Gay for it. Nice. Look at this, look how dark that is. I can't wait. Oh, that's beautiful. Right, triple Gross. cask. Triple cask. If, by the way, if you know what the uh, cheers is in Barbadian in the West Indies. Comment down below. Comment down below. Hit the uh, subscribe button. By the way, we have a great Patreon account and Instagram account, a starter and a chaser podcast. So check those out. Absolutely. Oh, Let's true. do it. Spicy. Like this, this almost is reminiscent of a spice drum for me up front. I know it's not a spice <sighs> drum, but I get kind of that spice drum note. Do you? It's so reminiscent of this rye spice to me. I, I feel like on the first hit of that, like I was drinking a rye whiskey, to be honest with okay. you. Okay. That's mm. really weird. Mm. But um, I'm going in for a second here yeah. before I give my thoughts. This one is super heavy on the palate. Absolutely. Very spicy. Cognac, yeah. A lot of uh, caramel on this one for me. Uh, I get a lot of vanilla notes on it. Um, it's fruity, but the, the the tropical fruit side of it to me has kind of died down a little bit. I would agree. I'm getting more of this like maple syrupy sugar. This is the most sugary one here, I would say. Not like very sweet, like a, a, a dessert drink or anything like no, that. No. Just, the, just the flavors. Yeah. Um, and then orange peel is like present in all these. Yeah, that's really interesting. It's like the common theme with this. And I, I, don't, I wonder if that's in the process of the distillation, if it's the pot still that's given it that. Yeah. I would imagine it's the pot still. The cognac in this is really yes. coming through. It's man. it's strong cognac. If you don't like cognac, you're not gonna like this, but if you like cognac, you're gonna like this. Um, I don't know, man. I think people that aren't a fan of rum or cognac in general, and you're American whiskey, bourbon, or scotch guy, this is incredible. Yes. I, I would agree, but I think if you're a whiskey or bourbon guy, I think you're going to go with more of the black. Ooh, because I'm going to disagree with you. Really Ooh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to disagree with you. Fight. But okay. All right. <laughs> the All rum. Right. Rum's making us feisty. I know. Uh -oh. I'm jump through the window. <laughs> <laughs> too feisty. Too feisty. All right. All right. Dial back. Bring it down, Notch. All right. We um, gotta do our final thoughts here. <laughs> final thoughts. <laughs> I gotta go back to that XO again. All right. Actually, let's let's go. All right, let's just do it. Okay. So, final thoughts, Joe. Eclipse. 
I can see why this is like the st gold standard for rum because if you take these other bottles away, take price away, blah, blah, blah. I can see this because this is one of the best rums I've had actually from drink number one, this one right here. Hmm. All right. It's it's very tasty. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Eclipse, light, enjoyable, yep. easy, easy drinking rum. Yep. Great on the beach. Sure, it's a Possibly great mixer. Great too. in the mixer. Well, wow. We're gonna have to find out. Um, Black. Uh, fantastic. Black. Double barrel. Joe, you go first. Like in the mouthfeel on this. I like mm -hmm. the extra weight of it. Um, I'm liking more of the barrel coming through on this. Um, kind of picking up little tannins in there mm -hmm. too on that starting one. To, you know, starting to, starting to kind yeah. of come out there. Um, the more of these are sitting open, they're kind of starting to pop more on the tropical notes on them. Um, I like yeah, okay. the sugary I sweetness. I love that uh, candy orange peel going on here. Yeah. All right. I love good. It, man. Good it's thoughts. really good. Uh, I, I love the black because it is very whiskey bourbon esque. You're right. The tannins are really starting to come out more that it's sitting open. I think this would be killer in in uh, in a mixed drink. But once again, great. Just as a, as a sipper, tropical notes in there. It's a cool combo of like whiskey and rum. I, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. No right. doubt. No doubt. X O. Five to seventeen-year-old blended triple cask, right? Rum. Yet. Joe, your final thoughts. This is where your heavy bourbon drinkers are going to lean towards. I I'm positive on this, just because of how dark it is and rich. This is like you know this is a well-crafted whiskey. It's mm. very concentrated on the flavors. But Even though these all share <laughs> those flavors, this has an added note. This has got that cognac note that kind of comes in on the far back end. It, if you, this is one of those you can sit back and not sip so fast and just start really bringing and enjoying those flavors mm -hmm. blowing through. It's heavy, long finish. With the weight on this one, it is like the perfect pairing for a cigar. I'd go yeah. with a Connecticut wrapper or even all the way out to a Maduro. I mean, yeah. uh, this could hold up and support and accentuate any of those cigars. Um, the, the weight is great. The flavors are incredible. That cognac really pops on it. Yeah. It is complex. It is long finish. Super long finish. I like all of these. I mean, I what, too. What, what's your number one, Joe? What's your number one? If you had to pick, knowing that we actually like all of these. <laughs> XO. XO. But I'd also <laughs> might be in the mood for Black Barrel. Um, depending on my mood, it could go either way, especially for bourbon drinkers or scotch drinkers mm -hmm. that are getting into this. It could go this or this. Depends if you're into cognac or not. I am going to say, <laughs> I was trying them both. I'm having a hard time here. Um, I'm sticking with the XO. I like the dark flavors. I like the concentration. I love the mouthfeel on it. It's the heaviest one in the mouth, pretty much, on the weight of the drink. The flavors pop. That's it, XO. Okay, I, I just as you saw, uh, listening to Joe, I tried them all really quickly. I'm gonna say XO is my number one because of that weight, because of that length of, of the finish, the complexity. Number two would be, surprisingly, the, the Eclipse. Mm -hmm. um, because as the black barrel sit, has been sitting out, more of those tannins are really coming out and dominating the profile. Not in a bad way, but I think if I was gonna choose my one through three, that would be it. I would not kick any of these out of bed. They're no, incredible. Um, that is not to discount this at all. This is extremely good. Really tasty. And I, I, these are all just fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm really, really pleasantly surprised. Yes, me too. And that is our episode on Mount Gay Rums. Tasting them all side by side. And we hope that you very much enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to hit uh, subscribe and YouTube. You can listen to us on the, all the podcast networks. Now uh, we're going to go talk about Team Meat. Ready? Hut, hut, hike!